It's the 21st of July, and I'm Jimmy Campbell. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna start on the project that's going up into the museum in uh, two months. I had a piece that was up in Madison Square Park in New York, which was the predecessor for the piece that's going into SF MoMA. This is a prototype, also a work in itself, but a prototype essentially for the work that went up in Madison Square Park. Um, but it's actually pretty similar to what's going to be at SF MoMA. The work itself is very abstract, as you can probably see in the camera. You're not seeing anything behind me except for flashing lights. Um, so you need to get a certain distance. Um, Madison Square Park, we had light bulbs, um, and we took the filament out for power reasons. This is kind of the funnest part of the sculpture. So we did this large 50 foot by 20 foot by 20 foot sculpture with 1,600 light bulbs that drew less power than a toaster because we did it with LEDs. So the one at SF MoMA is actually going to have a lot more, twice as many pixels. It's going to have, I think, 3,200 pixels, and they'll be bright. You have this notion of a pixel, but pixels don't have a look. Um, so you can represent it any way you want. You can represent it as a square or a circle or however you want to represent it. If you looked at this work from 100 feet away, it would look like a perfectly flat two-dimensional grid. So it's essentially a 2D image that's stretched into three dimensions. The different thing about it relative to all the 3D works that I've seen is you'll first see it from below before you see it from the side. So it will be abstract until you actually see it from the first balcony of the staircase. And then the image will hopefully at that point be clear. The most important aspect of all of these works is the fact that they're readable by people because they move. So it's all about the movements. I mean, they can go in and out of being recognized um, as people just by them stopping. It's all about kind of primal perception and creating an image that somehow clicks into us recognizing something without even really imaging it. We just kind of feel it. And that's the challenge, I think.